Welcome. You're listening to the I'm Wired to Inspire podcast, creatively engineered by Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist. I'm Wired to Inspire is a powerfully packed podcast filled with inspiration and encouragement to get you through your day. It's designed to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Now, stay tuned for your host, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist on today's episode of I'm Wired to Inspire. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my podcast. I am so excited because today is rare. I haven't done this probably since maybe March or or April even. Um, This is the second season of the podcast, and I have not done a pop-up prophetic word in months. Literally, it might be six months, y'all. Like just a pop-up out the day, you know, I got to tell this to the people right now. So I'm going to call this word break your sleep. Okay. Now just follow me. I don't know who this is for. It is very specific. And um, I need to talk to some people. I know this this is going to apply to more than one person. Um, If you have been praying and asking God about a particular situation, a person, um, you've been having some things on your mind. You have literally been, and some of you, you have been praying for months. Like this is not a new thing to the point of frustration where some of you have even stopped praying for it because you feel like God is not answering you. Okay. In addition to that, you may be praying for a particular person or individual. And it seems like when you see them and you look at what they're doing, still nothing is changing or it's maybe even gotten worse. They may be going the opposite of your prayers and you are genuinely praying according to the will of God. It's beginning to frustrate you. And you're like, God, I don't know what's going on. Help me. I don't understand. You're not answering me. And you could really just be in a state of, I don't know why I'm still praying because God is not answering. Well, for some of you, this word is very specific because God has not been answering you while you have been up and functioning and praying for some of you, if you have been getting, uh, up in the middle of the night, like God has just been breaking your sleep. Like you sleeping, like a, just sleeping like a log. And all of a sudden, boom, you just pop up. It's two, three, four, five, six o'clock in the morning. Like before your alarm goes off and you just popping up and you're just looking around in your bed. Like what is going on? Like you just pop up out of nowhere and then you're like, Oh man, I got to get back to sleep. And you turn over and go back to sleep. Right there is where your answer is. For some of you, God is breaking your sleep to answer your prayer request. So the next time that happens, sit up and say, God, I'm listening. You don't have to alert anybody. You don't have to text anybody. You don't have to turn on nothing. You don't have to do anything unless God gives you a prompt to say, hey, write this down or God may give you some type of instruction, but you have to be quiet and you have to listen. The reason why God is doing this, we if you're familiar with this or not, excuse me, I didn't mean to say that. I meant to say, if you are familiar with this, there are different um, prayer times. Okay, and I've talked about this multiple times, and they're they're prayer, called prayer watches. And between twelve and three, there's a prayer watch, and that is called the witching hour. And that is when there's the most demonic activity going on. But that is also a time to pray against that. That is also a time uh, to pray for marriages. There's uh, a time just to pray for multiple things in that twelve to three a.m. block, which is usually the the prayer block I'm praying in. Now. If God is waking you up between three and six, he is speaking to you. That that's an ultimate conversation. God will give you downloads. And again, God can give you downloads anytime. I don't want you to be confused and think it's just at that time. But this is a prophetic, timely word for somebody listening right now. God has been waking you up and you have been frustrated because you have not recognized this is the time slot he is using to give you the wisdom you've been praying for. For some of you, who have stopped praying about the particular situation or the particular person, he has all the tea right then and there. 
I don't know why he wants to give it to you in the middle of the night, but I had to stop what I was doing just now to let you know that God wants you to listen then. He wants you to listen when he pops you up. Don't try to go back to sleep. Don't get mad and say, man, I, I got to get up early in the morning. He is trying to give you what he asked for. Now, here's the thing, y'all. Many times we ask God for things and he'll give it to us in a package that he wants to give it to us in. And we may not like it. But I am telling someone because you are not even meaning any harm. You are genuinely like, man, I'm just going to go to sleep. You know, if you even sit up and say, okay, I've heard the message, Robin, I'm going to sit up. I don't hear anything. If you don't hear anything, he may be calling you to pray. So whatever is on your mind, whatever is in your spirit at that moment, you need to get on it. Because right now, y'all, God is breaking sleep. He going to break your sleep because he is trying to get that answer to you. And let me tell you something. He is doing this for you. This is not about him. He is trying to do this for you because you've been asking. You've been praying. You've been fasting. You've been doing all of these things. And you literally felt like God and everything you're saying has fallen on deaf ears. It has not. I want you to be encouraged. So if God is, is tapping you on your shoulder in the middle of the night and he said, hey, get up. Listen, I'm trying to talk to you. You need to sit up. Glory, honor, praise, give thanks. Lord, I am listening. I am listening. What are you trying to tell me? He is going to start revealing some things to you. And I want to hear your praise reports because I know that is a space where the enemy can make people most confused because you don't want to break. You want, you don't want to be broken out of a good sleep. You know, nobody, I mean, we all enjoy that. We love when it gets really good and we so sleepy and we realize we still have a lot of time left before we may have to get up in the morning. And that might be the time where God like, yo, get up. <laughs> yeah, it might not be the best. But there are a lot of things going on in the spirit realm that we don't know about and God does. And if he knows that you don't, he may be trying to position you so that you can hear those things, so that you can handle your business and do what he's telling you to do. So I pray this bless someone. And if this is you, do not be afraid. Hear God. Move forward. Get up when he tells you to get up and let him give you the answer that you have been praying for. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too. Thanks for listening to I'm Wired to Inspire podcast at imwiredtoinspire.com. If you enjoyed the show, spread the word and be sure to hit the five-star rating on iTunes. For more information on this podcast and inspirational products and services, log on to imwiredtoinspire.com. And remember to live your authentic purpose. Thanks again and see you next time.